Part 11. Come on, join us. Please like and subscribe, then relax and enjoy. Bonnie was lonesome and awfully blue, pining for Roy and missing him terribly, still loving him and not knowing what to do. But when Roy came back, things soon frothed again. Over a month this time, Roy was gone over Christmas and New Year. Emma took pity on Bonnie, gave her some spending money. Independent and disliking men, Emma wasn't taking Roy's side. Bonnie hung out with her girlfriends, and together they resolved to take no men or nothing seriously. Let all men go to hell. But we are not going to sit back and let the world sweep by us. The nightlife around Bonnie's home on Olive Street was lit. The girls that hung around her hood were a colourful elite, waiting evenings to be picked up back of Theatre Row, dressed to the nines. They made the back streets a fashion show. Bonnie penned the gist of it in the prostitute's convention. The prostitute's convention. You have heard of big conventions, and there's some you can't forget. But get this straight, there's none so great as when the prostitutes met. To a joint on Harwood Street last year, they came from far and near, from behind the barn in stolen cars, the damn broads gathered here. Three hundred came from North Dallas, some came from Ackard Street. Of all the parades of fashion, not a Paris shop could compete. From the Ivor Hotel came Billy, and Bess the catty clid. With Maniac Mag from the Elm Street drag came the San Jacinto kid. Bashful Bill and Hainlip Lil blew in with Hellfine Jack, Wanda Jane from the Pearl Street Gang, Estelle from the Live Oak Track. I saw some hides I'd never met, a frail called West End Rose, with Pearl and Pauline from the Josephine came a gal dubbed Mopin Mose. Big Imogene, dressed like a queen, made friends with Baby Red. Northside Nell lit up like hell, drank Jack with Eastside Ed. While Lonesome Lou and Subway Sue, along with Mamford Min and Martha Lynn, shook up some damn good gin. Hophead Het spilled out a song, composed by Kathleen. Lacey Galore joined in the score, whistling and swaying with Abilene. Then the laws swooped in and broke up the show, hauled some away, most scattered as best they did know. All vowed to soon be back, their spirits never low. Sure as hell their convention would again be a sensational go. End of The Prostitute's Convention End of Part 11 Come on, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. The next part is coming soon.